thank everybody for coming tonight. Uh, I want to thank the board of the coalition, the fire department for coming by in a timely manner, <laughs> <laughs> acknowledging our events. Thank you. Couldn't have timed that any better. Um, I want to thank the mayor for coming, the board at uh, the trail, Wayne, Christy, and especially the rest of you folks. It's just a great to have been a part of uh, the trail, the trail family, the activities that you guys do. Um, and um, we're going to hear a little bit more about that as we move on today. Um, please help yourself to the food as we go. Um, this is a, you know, semi-formal event. It has to be because of the folks that are here. Um, we are, uh, from the bottom of our hearts, forever grateful to Wayne, Christy, and, and you folks. Um, and I'm going to start by inviting Craig to come up. Craig Turner. Um, <laughs> uh, just, so it's important that you, you have a real feel for how this community has changed since this bond has been formed. And I'm going to kind of let Craig speak to that a little bit. So Craig. So first of all, uh, thank you all for coming in. And I think it would be appropriate, although it has very little to do with me at this point, if, if, uh, if the board could just introduce themselves to the group so that they know who's been behind the scenes. I think that's what's important. So if you could just give your names to the group, I think that would be helpful. Peter, you can start. Peter Chester. Bruce Batchel. <laughs> Supporter of the board. Yeah, thank you. Andrea Friend and friend. <laughs> so, thank you for coming, first of all. And, and I think it's uh, was just confirming with Wayne that you're entering your 26th year, but it's been 25 years of the event itself, which I think speaks volumes, not only in terms of the quality of the program and the work behind it, but that's 25 years of impact on the community, which I know some of the organizations, my department, the Youth and Social Services Department, enjoys uh, support for holiday forgiving, project graduation, uh, and the coalition. Uh, but I know that it extends far beyond that. The Red Cross was a significant supporter for years, uh, and that really transformed the organization during that time. Uh, and I had just come to town when that was happening, so I got to see the end of that, but the impact was noticeable, uh, highly noticeable, I bet. Um, what I'm going to talk about with respect to what Ken mentioned was the impact really of the coalition through the support not only of the Trail of Terror but some of the other groups that have really, I think, in a sense, brought the community into a really vital role with an organization that's taking the lead on quality of life issues for children, parents, and families. Uh, in such an active way, uh, you, most of you would know how the coalition started during the times of the opiate crisis and some untimely uh, deaths uh, and a significant number that followed thereafter and the interest on the part of the coalition to take a deep look into kind of the roots of the families and the kids in the community, and in particular, the Trail of Terror kids, to try to see what we could do to improve the lives of those kids and those families. Uh, so the support that I've experienced in my office, as well as what the coalition has gone to great lengths to sustain that work, to expand the work, and to heighten the awareness within the community. It doesn't happen without that kind of back support. And yours has been significant and substantial since the very beginning. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Um, with that, I'm going to invite our uh, favorite mom up here, Jen. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a special bond with you folks through Taylor, so she's going to speak about that. Well, I'm not 
not going to do this alone. Wayne and Christy, can you please join me? <laughs> <laughs> Around 12 years ago, give or take, a young girl full of life and love skipped her way onto the property of 60 North Plains Highway seeking to volunteer with a group of her friends hoping to fulfill her community service obligation for high school graduation. What she did not know at that time was just how important that step would be, how that would shape her and define her. She would embark on a journey as a young adult that taught her how to care, how to commit, and be a part of something so valuable and so important to so many here in Wallingford and our surrounding communities. That young lady was, as most of you know, my daughter Taylor, a young, energetic, fun-loving person, full of life, at the time who believed in the magic of everything and anything the trail, as it is so fondly called, had to offer. Her dedication and devotion, as well as that of all the members, make this unique organization undoubtedly one to be recognized. The Trail of Terror for Taylor was a second family, and for most volunteers or members of the Boo Crew, that was and still is a common premise. Because of you, Wayne, over the past 25 years, you and Christy and your family have brought something to this town that has changed the landscape of our community involvement. The Trail of Terror has donated over two million plus dollars to local charities and organizations, which is remarkable. And one recipient being us, the Coalition for a Better Wallingford. I remember as if it was yesterday, November 2013, one year after Taylor's passing, we received an invitation to attend your end of year gala at the Bill Miller's Castle. You called on Ken and I to the podium, and for a quick moment, I stood there and I reflected back on something Taylor mentioned to me after coming home from one of the end of year celebrations. And I quote this, Mom, we were able to raise thousands of dollars this year, and we were able to help so many people. How cool is that? This time, he was handing an envelope to me, and he said, I quote, I believe in you and the coalition, and I hope this check will give you a foundation to seek the avenues and or paths to shed light and find resources and solutions to help our community with this horrific epidemic that has affected so many of us, our loved ones, our friends, and our community. Eight years later, here we are with a nonprofit organization that is fulfilling that task, a successful hope and support group, a grief support group, so many programs, so many to list, but most importantly, a team of dedicated volunteers that keep this journey alive and forging forward in a world that continues to battle this preventable epidemic. Tonight, we honor you, Wayne, and all the members of your organization, The Trail of Terror, for believing in us. Oh. Coalition Community Recognition Award 2020 presented to Wayne Barneski for his generous and empathetic support to the coalition, which has allowed us to, prov to provide help and understanding for hundreds in our community. We would have not made it without you. Donna and Bruce Batchelder and Peter Chester, please come up. <laughs> to 
you folks, the representatives of the Trail of Terror, who have dedicated countless hours and most of your life. The Coalition Community Recognition Award 2020 presented to the Trail of Terror for their continued selfless hard work and support that provides selfless financial support to the entire community, an effort that is unprecedented in the history of Wallingford. We thank you. Thank you. I shall probably be doing this. Well, thank you, Coalition, everybody, Wallingford, everybody that, that came today. Um, I want to talk about Taylor, can I? Sure. Taylor was a... There you go. <laughs> Um, Taylor was a special one for us, and she lit up the room, I always say that, she did. If she walked in the room right now, she'd have us laughing within 30 seconds, mm -hmm. all of us. And she had that type of personality, and an absolute joy to be around, and an absolute reason to do what we do, and she was a big part of it. And, uh, and since then, there's been others like him, like her, and there's been, been, and there hopefully will be down the road. We can pick up that smile and that shine and that just that special um, thing that each and every one of you guys have. And some people really know how to, to know how to bring it out in other people and with and themselves. And she did that, and she was very special to us. Uh, the coalition was an easy, actually it started with the Taylor Foundation, Taylor Foundation, and, and then with the coalition, and it was a, it was a huge awareness for me, because it hit home, and um, it continues to hit home, with, with every time we read about somebody, and every time we hear about another, another death, and it's, uh, it's amazing if you just realize what is going on. And one thing I love about Ken is he's a research guy, <laughs> and he just does, doesn't shoot from the hip. And he, it, it, when he talks, he knows what he's talking about, and he's not afraid to say what he needs to talk about, and that's amazing. And to have a representative that we are involved with that does that kind of work in the community, it's amazing. And it, it goes so much further than a few hundred people. It, it hits thousands of people, thousands, and hopefully everything, you know, everybody takes a piece of that in our lives and we can, we can move forward and help that one person or 10 people or a thousand people ourselves because that's, that's how the whole game works. That's, is, is, is we have to do it together. We can't just do it alone. We have to do it with a group and that's what we've created at the trail and that's what, and that's what the coalition is, is, has created. And uh, we love our relationship with them and it's, it's, it's to watch it grow and to watch what they do and to, to read about what they've done and and the, the things that they tackle, and, and a lot of people just walk away from it, and they just jump right in, and they're not afraid to, to, to fight the fight. And more people need to be like that. And we all need to take a piece of that with us, so I guess that's it. So. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> So thank you very much. We look forward to uh, this ongoing relationship, um, working together. Um, Lord knows our society has a number of challenges that it keeps throwing at us. Just when we think that um, you know we've mustered support for something, another another thing kind of slaps us upside the head. So um, each of you know you, you need to know how important you are in this process. And, uh, that, that was so important for us to make sure that that's the message that gets across. That, yeah, you got a great guy at the helm here, um, but without the hundreds of people behind him, he's just a guy with a lot of good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Thank you again for coming tonight. Um, glad to have you in this community. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.